Harper of Custom Chic and if you're new here, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we have a bunch of pieces on our clothing rack and today we are going to talk about 10 closet essentials that every girl should have in her closet to build an entire wardrobe. This is kind of going to be like a docu-series or mini-series on first what you need in your closet and the next time we'll be together we will build some outfits just based on what we have here. Without further ado, before I start rambling, here's a look at my outfit and then we can get this video started. So I am wearing this printed baby doll dress by Stein Goya. I love this dress, it's super comfortable. I'm wearing a size medium. I paired it with my Louis Vuitton combat boots. I've been super into um, mixing up soft and edgy, so that's why I pair this baby doll dress with these combat boots. I've just been into that look lately. It's working for me on weekends. I love the print on this dress, and yeah, it's a go. Okay guys, so the first item that I have on the list is a simple white blouse. I literally pulled two of these from my closet. I have a long one and I have a short one. This is a phenomenal staple because you literally can wear it with everything. I have one that's kind of like a polyester silk blend, the short one is, and a cotton blend. You can get this in whatever material you feel the most comfortable with, but just know that if you have this staple in your closet, you will get your cost per wear for this. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It is something that every woman or everyone just in general should have in their closet. So this is the first item on the list. Like I, Again, like I said, it's not in any particular order, but it's definitely something you want to have, a simple white blouse. Let's move on to the next thing. Next up on the list is camisoles or plain t-shirts. Now, I'm holding up two, obviously, in black, but I would recommend having any of them in a neutral color. So a white, a black, or some kind of like um, your skin color tone, that way you can use it for a lot of things. You can wear it like as an undergarment or you can wear it as the actual focal top or piece to your outfit. Um, I also buy my t-shirts in the v-neck cut and my camisoles in the v-neck cut because I'm just, that is the cut that I prefer for myself. So you can customize it or you can purchase whichever cut you're most comfortable with, but I purchase them in the v-neck cut. Now, I don't spend a lot of money on these because these are staples and I wear them pretty often. Um, my camisoles, I purchased them from Banana Republic probably like two to three times a year. They have great quality. The outlet actually had the Banana Republic outlet actually has these on sale for like $12 sometimes. Maybe you can get like two for three. I don't remember exactly what they have, but um, that's a good place for you to try to find camisoles if you don't have any. My basic t-shirts, I typically get these from either Zara or like a Ross or a Marshalls. Because I wear them so often, um, I, I, I actually think these are pretty disposable. Not because the material is not bad, but because after wearing them throughout the year and all of those washes, um, you get your cost per wear for these. So try to get them somewhere cheap. They don't have to be extra looks unless you like Pima cotton. And I do, but I just don't think I should spend Pima cotton on a regular basic like V-neck shirt. So black, white, or skin tone colored t-shirt and camisole, definitely essentials for your closet. All right guys, next up on the list is your chunky sweater or your cardigans. Both of these are neutral colors. I know there is a method to my madness. If you have essentials in neutral colors, you can basically work that all around your closet. I mean, a nude, a black, or a white, what is that not going to go with? You can mix it with prints, you can mix it with other um, same color tones to get like a mono monochromatic look. Try to say that six times fast. But yeah, so you can mix them together or you can keep them in the same color wheel, color family, and it's always a very good look. But I put these two things on the list because you can use a chunky sweater as an actual piece or you can layer it if you're traveling. Same thing with a cardigan. If you're looking for something that's a little bit lighter and it's not as cold temperature wise, you can use your cardigan to either, you know, spice up your outfit, give it a little bit of zhuzh, or you can just wear it as a, 
as the actual piece. Like in springtime, you can wear these with a colorful belt and maybe some jeans. I'm getting ahead of myself because this is not the styling video, but I'm just trying to envision all the different ways that you can wear these things. So definitely cardigans and chunky or lightweight sweaters need to be in your closet. It's an essential. Next up, remember the LBD, the little black dress that you always had to have in your closet? That still rings true. What's not true anymore is that it has to be black. You can have a little colorful dress in your closet. I like to call them your go-to dress because sometimes you have somewhere to go after work and the event is calls for something maybe a little bit more spicy or maybe something a little bit more elevated, if you will. So you can wear your little black dress or your little colorful dress. You have one in your closet, you don't have to go shopping for anything, and you can just embellish it as you need to. Both of these dresses I think you can wear with sneakers if you're having a super comfortable day going out for coffee or whatever it is, or you can dress them up appropriately for work. Remember, they don't have to be black anymore, but you should have a dress in your closet that if you had somewhere to go to, you would be ready. You can wear this to a little LBD dress to work, brunch, lunch, things that are not, you know, funerals, we don't really want to think about that. But essentially this, you want a dress that will transition well into from day to night or transition well between different events. Because what are you doing? You are getting your cost per wear. And that's what this is all about. You don't want to spend tons of money on something that you're going to wear once or twice. No, you want something in your closet that is going to be timeless, that is going to be your go-to, and it is going to be an essential. LBDs are essentials, but they don't have to be black, so remember that. Okay, next up on the list is kind of out of wear, but kind of not. So I have three things that I want to talk about. Trench coats, leather jackets, or denim jackets. You need all three of those. I know it sounds like I'm making you go spend a lot of money, but you more than likely already have these things in your closet. Think about it. When do you usually wear a trench coat? Usually when it's raining or, you know, it's the weather is not super hot, but it's not cold and it's just appropriate. So trench coats usually come out during springtime. They can elevate a look. You can come outside with your, you know, super blank, um, and by blank, I just mean like nothing happening. Um, T-shirt, a pair of jeans, and you throw on a trench coat and instant elevation. I mean, you can buckle this, you can tie it. We'll do a little bit more of that when we're styling the video, but a trench coat is definitely an essential. I happen to have one in this cream kind of nude color. You don't have to have that. I've seen trench coats in various amounts of color and they always do the same thing. They elevate any look that I've seen them with. Um, your denim jackets. Everybody needs a denim jacket just because it's so versatile. You can use it if you're cold. You can use it if you want to spice up your outfit. You can use it if you want to make something a little bit more muted. So let's say you have on this super great printed dress and now you're going to like a kid's birthday party that's, I don't know, somewhere. Throw on a denim jacket and voila, you fit into place. So you definitely want to have denim jackets in your closet. It's an essential. Leather jacket. Um, I have a black one here, but I do also have various colors of leather jackets just because it gives your closet a little bit of zhuzh. It gives it a lot of edge, a lot of rock and roll. And sometimes you just want to spice up your outfit. So definitely trench coats, denim jackets, leather jackets. You can travel with these. Try to get ones that are lightweight because if you're packing it, you want to make sure it's not taking up too much space in your closet. And all three of these items are buildable. They are essential. You guessed it, denim is next. Now, I cannot do an essentials video without talking about denim. Whatever cut of denim you like, that's what you should be buying. I know sometimes we get like the high-waisted, the paper bag waist, the mom jeans, the boyfriend cut, the boot cut, the super wide leg, the skinny, the cigarette. Whichever cut works for you, find a pair that you love and buy multiple of those. Now, I personally love a pair of black denim jeans. Like, 
I don't remember the last time I didn't have a pair. I just think they're so classic. They are usually my go-to. I probably would wear a black denim jean before I wore a regular wash. Now, sometimes depending on what look I go for, it depends on the cut that I want to wear. But nine times out of ten, I will buy a skinny jean or slim fit or cigarette pants, however they call them now, um, because I think you get more ways to wear it. You can tuck it in into like combat boots into over the knee boots you can wear them with sneakers you can wear them with um just a whole bunch of different ways and you don't really have to keep changing the cut of your denim or you can get a regular sort of like boyfriend boot cut jean i love a good tuck i will probably tuck everything that i can that is a pants or actually that's a jean rather but denim is definitely an essential it doesn't matter what color wash you like acid wash dark wash whatever you like just make sure you have a pair of jeans in your closet that you feel comfortable with that you can throw on you can dress them up you can dress them down we'll do that in the next video but definitely denim is an essential next up we have your regular decular black pant i probably wear a black pant at least once every 10 days and i say 10 days because it's just in my work wear rotation these are so easy to wear they are an essential you can dress them up you can dress them down i actually have a, i have black jeans but this is an actual pant but i do think a black pant is an essential you can wear this with a blazer like i said you can do so much with this but make sure you have a black pant in your closet because it will take you a really long way <laughs> just I, I'm this tall yeah they've been taking me a really long way <laughs> let's go to the next one next up on the list is a blazer I happen to be holding up a black blazer because it was the first blazer that I found in my closet when I was getting ready to do this video yes and also I wanted to talk about black blazers because I find that they are more practical you can probably get more cost per wear with the black blazer then you can with another colored blazer because you can dress them up, you can dress it down, it's practical. A blazer just like a denim jacket can either elevate or mute a look. So that is definitely something that you want to have in your closet. Also, you don't have to spend a ton of money on it. I mean, Target, um, I actually have like a, I don't know, just like a raincoat style blazer from the Tina Lost. Well, now it's Tina Lawson before it was Tina, Beyonce's mom. Yeah. So she had a line with the, uh, Walmart like eons ago. And she had this black blazer situation thing that I bought. It was like $20 and I wear it till this day. And every time I wear it without fail, I get complimented. That's not the point of the story. The point of the story is that a black blazer will take you a really long way. And if you invest in one or spend money on one that's made out of good quality, even though it doesn't cost you that much, it will give you your cost per wear. Now, I would recommend a neutral color. So again, that's either your blacks or your tans. I don't know that I would necessarily buy a white blazer, unless you know what you're doing. Um, I do own one, but I, I don't think I wear it that often just because you're constantly thinking about whether or not this is going to get, you know, spill something on it or if you're going to mess it up. So if you want to get most cost per wear, definitely, you definitely need a blazer in your closet. It is, by now you should say it with me, an essential. <laughs> Let's go to the next item. Okay, next up on the list, I have a playful dress or a playful skirt um i kept a dress on the hanger so that you guys can see what i mean by playful and it very well could be this is a um dress it buttons down all the way and it has like a belt so something that you can tie around the waist or you can get like a wrap dress and then this dress is kind of a mini but it's pleated um this dress is old and thrifted but i wanted to add this to the list because you can dress these things up or down. I've actually worn this dress with either sneakers or heels or flats for a work event and it just works. So if you find a print that you like and you have it either the skirt option or the dress option, I would say go for it just because it breaks up sort of the monotony in your closet, right? This is probably one of the first things 
or one of the few things that I pulled that has some color to it or has some print besides everything else here. Now, um, this colorful or not colorful, I'm sorry, playful skirt or pant could be your actual, that's not a pant, that's a dress. <laughs> So many pieces, oh my gosh. Okay, all right, let's, let's get back, let's get back. So a playful skirt or dress can either be the focal point or you can pair it with something else. Like this will easily go super well with a plain camisole or white or neutral or black t-shirt or if you're feeling funky, any color t-shirt really. And this, I mean, that's the focal point. That's the outfit, it's a great print. So remember, you want to find something that will transition well from day to night. So you can wear this with heels for work and you can throw on some sneakers or vice versa, just depending on your work environment. And obviously you would know that better than anybody else. So let's go to the next one. Okay, last but certainly not least in the clothing realm of essentials that I think everyone should have in their closet is a ta-da! maxi dress i live for these things the longer the better the flowier the better it doesn't even I, I don't think i've met a maxi dress that i don't like or that i don't own and i'm really not particular as to where i get them from if they sell a maxi dress more than likely i will purchase it i just so happened to pull a white one um this is an oldie but a goodie i got this at nordstrom's rack but maxi dresses are like your one-stop shop you can literally throw it on and walk out the door and you're done or you can throw it on and adorn it or you can embellish it you can throw on some fancy earrings if you're going to dinner you can throw on a denim jacket if you're running errands you can throw on a leather jacket if it's well you probably wouldn't wear a leather jacket in a maxi dress well maybe you could but just depending on the weather anyway that's more so for the styling video but maxi dresses are super comfortable. You can find them again at mostly any retailer, especially if you live in warmer climate states. And they're a one-stop shop. Like I said, it's um, you put it on and you go. You can either get them in prints. Um, I pulled a solid just for the purposes of this video. Um, and they are your outfit ready to go. You don't have to think about much. You can dress them up or you can dress them down. So that is number 10 out of the closet essentials. I just have a couple of other notes that I want to give you guys. So let's get into that. Okay guys, so I've just gone over the 10 things that I call or consider essential pieces to have in your closet. Brief review, it is a simple white blouse or a simple blouse. It could be any simple blouse that is a neutral color a simple t-shirt or camisole also in a neutral color but if you're feeling jazzy throw some colors in there um sweater chunky sweater or a cardigan just depending on where you live and what your comfort level is i mean it doesn't have to be like a cable knit sweater but just an actual sweater your go-to dress remember that can be an lbd or something of color if you're into that trench coat denim jacket or a leather jacket denim whatever wash or cut you prefer best for you make sure you have something that's comfortable in your closet black pant so a excuse me a dress pant of some sort a blazer be it a neutral color or be it something that is bold that is completely trending in 2020 make sure you have one of those in your closet a playful skirt or dress it could be anything that has a print or bold in cut um, make sure you have one of those in your closet. And my all time favorite out of all of them is a maxi dress. Now, what I did not mention in this video as what an essential should be in your closet is accessories. I kind of stayed away from like earrings and purses just because those things are so personal. What I like may not be what somebody else is, what somebody else likes. Um, while I think I do have an opinion as to what like I think every girl should have a hoop earring, but the size of that is probably a little bit more personalized, right? So you can figure out what works best for you in your closet. I also wanted to briefly talk about shoes that I have seen have worked for me and transitioned well in ways that I did not think before. So a minimalist sneaker. I just showed you guys, or I am showing you guys my rack of shoes, and these are the, the four or five pairs that I wanna talk about. So first we have 
the black sneaker which obviously you can throw on for the weekend you can throw on if you're going out with your girlfriends for coffee or for brunch or you can wear it to either for travel i usually wear those black sneakers while i'm traveling um next up is the black pointy toe heel like when are you never not going to be able to use that somewhere either church or a dinner or a work event it's just such a go-to shoe now height level and preference obviously is personalized and customized to you but you probably should have a neutral colored or black heel in your closet it doesn't have to be pointy to pointy toe that is just a toe box shape that i prefer so go forth and flourish with whichever one you would like um next up is a booty i just put the nude color on there because again it transitions well it goes with solids it goes with prints it goes with stripes it goes with a whole bunch of things so it's definitely something that i have seen work for me in more ways than one in ways that i didn't think i can wear it with dresses i can wear it with jeans and it's just a color that that transitions well with everything i've said that already but because it's true you know i said it twice because it's true um next after that is a pair of yellow heels now i put that on there to represent something colorful it doesn't have to be yellow i just so happen to love those shoes so that's why i put them there um but a colorful heel it doesn't have to be a skinny heel it could be a chunky heel it can be a wedge it can be anything that you like but add some color to your shoe department because that always comes in handy in um either spring or summer or depending on where you live you can kind of wear it in winter <laughs> and then surely last but not least is um a pair of sneakers they don't necessarily have to be running sneakers but minimalist sneakers i think is what the um powers that be in the fashion world are calling them my go-to's are probably if i'm not wearing my black sorel sneakers to travel with i'm definitely wearing my um adidas i just i love them they they work well with dresses they work well with skirts they work well with suits they work well with everything and they're white so make sure you keep those clean you don't want to be walking around with like dingy white sneakers or socks anyway everybody this channel focuses on fashion travel and overall lifestyle and if you stuck around this long i would like to thank you remember this is a either two or three part video i haven't decided yet depending on how long it's going to be but today we talked about the essentials that you want to have in your closet next video we will style some of them and kind of create your own capsule collection out of the things that you already have in your closet make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know the next time i drop a video which is every wednesday for now and most but certainly not least make sure you share talk to you guys later bye bye